Annie Edson was born 1838 in Auburn, New York, uh, about 150 miles from Niagara Falls. She is best known for her 63rd birthday celebration on October 24th, 1901, when she became the first person to go over Niagara Falls in a barrel and live. Uh, this was not her first adventure, just her most famous. Uh, she had left home at 18 to become a school teacher. Uh, she, she married a neighbor, uh, David Taylor. Uh, they had one child, a son, who died as an infant. Soon after the death of her son, she became a widow when her husband marched off to fight in the Union Army in the Civil War and, and did not return. And he spent the next 35 years traveling all over the United States and Mexico, uh, working as a school teacher, charm school teacher, dance instructor. Uh, she survived earthquakes, fires, and outlaws, including an encounter with Jesse James, who robbed a stagecoach she was riding in. Uh, she finally settled in Bay City, Michigan, where she owned and operated a dance and charm school. By the turn of the century, 1900, she was deep in debt and forced to close her school. Naturally, she decided the best way to earn money would be to go over Niagara Falls in a barrel. Uh, she got a manager, put together a support team that included local officials, uh, a boat to drop her off, a boat to pick her up at the bottom, support boats to help search for her if the first boat couldn't find her right away, medical teams, uh, advertising from local shop owners that who were hoping this would, uh, would uh, spur tourism in the area. Uh, she, even, uh, she even designed the barrel herself with padding and harnesses inside to keep her from being bounced around too much during the trip. Everything was going smoothly until about a week before her birthday. Uh, her backers started pulling out. Uh, there were protest groups starting, uh, claiming that this was an assisted suicide, uh, since there was no way she could possibly survive the trip. Uh, to save the event, Annie conducted uh, a, a trial, a test run, two days before her birthday. Test run was conducted exactly the same way that the actual event would be conducted uh, with the exception of, instead of Annie being inside the barrel, her cat was inside the barrel. Uh, the, uh, the barrel and cat both survived the trip and all of her backers were on board. And uh, the event uh, on her, her birthday celebration uh, went exactly as planned. Uh, so the cat may have, the cat was the, uh, the first actually to survive going over the falls in a barrel. Uh, Annie was, though, the very first human, uh, first person to go over the falls in a barrel and live. Uh, quite a few people, including her manager, made quite a bit of money from the event. Uh, however, Annie did not. Uh, she spent the rest of her life in the Niagara Falls area teaching, running a souvenir store, uh, writing about her adventures. Uh, but she never realized the large amounts of uh, cash that she was expecting from this. Uh, Annie died 19 years after her trip over the falls, and she was buried in Stunter's Rest, a cemetery near Niagara Falls, uh, reserved for daredevils who have uh, performed amazing stunts. And this is my, uh, my tribute song to uh, Annie Edson Taylor. Celebration that sixty three years young adventure called. She climbed inside a barrel that she had made herself, and then she plunged over Niagara Falls. And they went over the falls. She was not the first. Was the first 
ছিলে Tell 